Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we're going to talk about outlining. So first thing I like to do when I open Hatch is open my resequence because I use it all the time so I just like it there and I get used to it there. So let's start with some lettering. So on our toolboxes let's go down to lettering and let's simply type in how about digitizing made whoops it's a silly keyboard made and then go back one enter easy and it's already there and I'm just gonna leave it as a plain font but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it better not enough to split the satin but just enough there now we want to add some outlining to this and Hatch makes it so much easier. So let's go into edit objects. Let's go down here, create outlines and offsets. And you know, by the icon and when you, you know, go over it, hover over it, you can see, but the icon kind of explains what it's going to do. So we're going to click on that and we're going to turn off offsets. You could do both at the same time like this. You can do offsets and outlines. Uh, offsets will offset it so you'll have one closer further further and you can set them up but today we're going to do outlines you can pick the type that you want backstitch you can do motif you can do a satin line you can do a single run a stem stitch and a triple run for this one we're just going to do single run and you can change it later so you don't need to worry about it I'm just going to leave it there let's do a pretty blue this one is for overlapping objects. Now I have the center one selected. That's the one I use most often, but you can see how you can change your outlining just by picking one of these three things. So this one is underneath and this one is over top and it's going to outline. This one basically merges it or welds it combined into a single outline. And this one, the overlap portions of the outlines will be trimmed. So you can see it's trimmed right off. And this one is full outlines. Oh, so sorry, I made a mistake on that one. It's full. So it outlines the square completely and it outlines the triangle completely. And you will have this line underneath. This that could be applicable. So you understand the difference between the three. And I'm going to select the middle one and click OK. And that's all you have to do. And if you wait a second, you can see right here, look at the beautiful outlines. Let's zoom right in. You can see it's a nice overlap. So when you stitch this out, it'll stitch out perfectly on the edge as long as you have the right um, stabilizer and everything. And you can see it immediately in your resequence. And you can see these are all put together here. And so the way I have it here, it's going to do the lettering and then it's going to do the outline. Now, if you wanted to change the outline, click on it. You can change that to a, a triple run. We can change that to this uh, sculpture run, which is a little bit thicker. Uh, you can change it to a motif not too applicable at this size. You'd have to make it bigger. Backstitch is one of my favorites. It looks like the single stitch, but it stitches out a little bit thicker. Um, stem stitch, you know, that could work. That to me looks kind of cool. Um, maybe if you made it larger, it would look even better. You can do a zigzag. That looks cool. That looks like old fashioned stitching. So you can really play around with one or two clicks. You can have your outline and then you can play around with it. And that is how you do outlining here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.